645. Justin Timberlake, Jay-Z right there. Holy grail and holy moly. I'm joined actually on the line right now by the one and only Cecil Breeze, founder and leader of Team Breeze. What's up, Cecil? How you doing, sir? Well, Kellen, I, good morning. I, I got your text earlier. And the, well, the Team Breeze iPhone went off saying you wanted to talk to me about square dancing. Oh, yeah. I, I actually have some uh, some questions for you, see? So I now, wanted to... why, now, why do you have questions for me about square dancing? Well, because, you know, you were talking about you needed a certified uh, square dance caller for Freaky Friday, right? Yeah, I want to participate. I want to cut the rug. I want to have somebody up there. Okay. Well, I, I have a friend who who is certified. Is, and, it, and... Now, is, it, oh, is this Rod Bradish again? It, it's, a, it's a friend of mine. I'll leave that anonymous. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's certified, and he was... You know, basically gave me some questions to ask you, you know, to see how legit you are in the square dance com- oh, community. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Kellen, I yeah. welcome any questions you might have on square dance. Okay. And he, uh, I'm assuming this is Rod Bradish. Uh, you know what? It, it, okay, it is Rod. Rod is certified, and, and he does. He, I, he knows I, a I, thing listen, or two. I think Rod has got a lot of talent, but I don't think he could... I don't think he could go up against my calls. Okay, well, to, to find out how legit you are, let's, let, what do you know about Collar Labs? Collar Labs? Collar oh, labs. the International Association of Smart Square Dance Colors. I know a couple people there. Good friends, Clark Baker out of uh, Massachusetts and Jim Walks out of Riverdale, Maryland. Okay, all right. And uh, what about what does ACA stand for? Uh, come, come on, come on. American Colors Association. All right, that was too easy. Okay, well, all right. Here's here's some thing. What kind of equipment do you use when you're doing uh, the square dance colors? Well, I use records. No, 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 no. I, I want you to be more specific. Like, what, what brand of equipment is well known? I use Zenith now, but back in the day, I used Hilton, and I started out with a Newcomb. Ah, uh, okay, all right. Well, uh, for the for the people listening right now, you're actually uh, doing pretty well on this because I, I jotted down some notes um, on these, so you're getting those all right. All right, you know what? Let's let's hear another call. Um, well, okay. If you don't mind, wait, can I go? Hello. Yes. Can I go? Of course. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to clear out the old fallopian tubes here. <clears throat> Butterflies have wings of gold. Moths have wings of flame. Bedbugs don't have wings at all, but they get there all the same. Wow, that was lame. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, right? I wrote that myself. Uh, that, that, that's the one you wrote for yourself? Now, uh, here's another one I wrote for myself. This okay. one is a little more specific to what I'm going through in life right now. All right. Cat in the barn, rat in her mouth. Grab her head and go right south. Call Pat Coleman at the gym. He's in the sauna by himself using towels to the max. <laughs> this is like you freestyling like square dance calls now. I'm not freestyling, Kellen. I wrote those down. All right. A, you know I'm going through a time with Pat Coleman, Rod Bradish, the other guys. You At, know, and I would love, I would love, I would love to have Rod Bradish to go one on one with him with some some calls. Like go back and forth with go Rod back Bradish. And forth, Kellen, I would I, love to. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest. So Rod Bradish would call. He calls circles around you. I don't know about that. I'm just saying. I think he's got some square dancing talent, but I don't know. I just don't know, Kellen. I need someone who's certified, I know certified, to do the square dancing on Friday. Well, Cecil, I honestly, I don't know what to tell you. You you have to reach out to him. You know, maybe you can swap emails or phone numbers or something. I don't know. All right, one more, one more call, and I want to. Can I talk about something else that's coming up? Yes, that's that's fine. What what else? What what's another call you have for? Catherine me? likes Bobby, but Bobby likes Sue. I like Stacy, but she likes you. Rod likes Kellen. Kellen digs Pat. Blue likes Cecil, but Cecil hates that. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. You said Kellen dates Pat. Digs. Digs. Hey, okay. Yeah, it's like a seventies term. I, yeah, I dig you. No, no, I dig turkey. I, I can dig that. I can dig right, that. Right, yeah, like, you know those Richard Pryor movies and whatnot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, Richard Pryor movies and whatnot. Here you go. Now, so what's this beef you have with me and, and Pat? I don't, I'm don't. i not Kellen, getting that. I, like, we touched on this yesterday. I have it on good authority. You were talking to Pat Coleman at the gym. I had a conversation with Pat Coleman. Yes, I see him quite frequently at the at the gym, yes. What, what, did, he, did he talk to you about the information he I, took from me? No, I was asking. I was talking to him actually about you. He, uh, he, I was asking him, you know, had he met you before? When's the last time you guys talked and all that sort of uh, thing? And he said you actually gave him a call the other day. I, Kellen? Yes. I did give him a call, and I spoke with him. He was extremely disrespectful to me on the phone. Pat was disrespectful to you on the phone. But, you know, Pat is the, Pat's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Dingo, what's that Star Wars movie you like? Phantom Menace. Hey, Pat Coleman's the Phantom Menace of the base. <laughs> the Phantom Menace of Pat, the base. Pat Coleman. Why, how do you figure? He's just, he just, he's pulling strings from behind my back. Clearly, he's talking to you about me. I can't believe that. See, well, at least I'm man enough to go on air with you and, and. Well, here's grievances. the thing, Cecil. He didn't, he didn't, really wasn't talking to me on your back. He just said that you called him up begging for money. 
I did not. I called Pat asking for the money he owes me. He probably made on their promises he's going to pay for me, Dingo, Temple of Doom, Sherwood Forest, West Bank, Gaza Strip, Skullblade, the rest of the team. Well, no, no. He said you and Dingo was it. He said the rest of them, um, they, they'd have to just work for that. So well, he asked me to mow his. Well, I'm not going to get into detail, yes, he, Ellen, <laughs> But I have a big surprise for Pat Coleman. I have a big surprise, and I would love, I would love to come and come in the studio with there and and. Oh, well, here's the deal: the dirty laundry with Pat Coleman. And we actually we talked about that. So how about this Friday? We get you and Pat Coleman here in the studio, and uh, we t- we talk this whole thing out, so we can. Ellen, uh, oh, Kellen, I guess dreams really do come true to those who wait. I would love to go one-on-one with Pat Coleman. So you'll, you'll come in the studio on Friday. Uh, you name the time, you name the place, I will be there. You can also bring Dingo and any other, any other team members. Oh, I'll bring the whole the whole team, Kellen. You're going to bring the whole squad. You let me know. You, Kellen, you name the time, you name the place, we'll talk. We'll, we'll just, I'm know. saying, I'm telling you right now, Friday at 7 o'clock. A.M.? 7 a.m., yes. Morning Cruise Detroit. You got to be in. make it work. All right. Let's we'll make, make that it, work. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. And that's my right. Freaky Friday. Get Rod Bradish in the studio, too. Uh, it, I, I will talk with Rod. I'll speak. I'll reach out to Rod and see what I can do. All right, Kellen. Well, Friday, I look forward to it. That's really going to make my day. I'll well, tell you what. It's going to make my day as well. If we really get you in the studio, Cecil, that will be amazing. So thank you uh, very much. I got to go. I got to get ready for this weather and yen rate. But thank you for calling in again, Cecil, as usual. And uh, we appreciate you, man. Kellen, God bless you. Take care. Have a great day. All right. Take care, brother. Love you.